The European Union's relations with Norway are close and are continuing to evolve. The European Economic Area, of which Norway is a key member, has proved its value and strength over the past 25 years. Today, the Prime Minister stressed the importance of having a close dialogue in view of the upcoming Brexit talks. I reassure the Prime Minister that as one of the EU's closest partners, we will have a close dialogue with Norway throughout the talks. We also discussed energy and climate cooperation. We are both determined to implement the Paris Agreement. Let me make one uh, comment as we wait for the confirmation from Washington regarding the US commitment to a better environment, including fighting climate change in line with the Paris Agreement. There are many ways in which nations can contribute to this fight, and they depend on national choices. No one proves it better than Norway, how it is perfectly possible and rational to combine being an important supplier of gas and oil, as well as being a front runner in renewable energy. The Norwegian example should provide encouragement to our American friends as the climate challenge we all face can only be addressed by common global action. Prime Minister Solberg and I also discussed the conflict in Ukraine and our relations with Russia. We remain firm and consistent in our approach towards Russia. We know who the victim is in this conflict and we will continue working together to advance reforms and development in Ukraine, and we also cooperate when it comes to sanctions towards Russia. Let me make a general remark about Brexit. These negotiations are difficult enough as they are. If we start arguing before they even begin, they will mm. become impossible. The stakes are too high to let our emotions get out of hand because at stake are the daily lives and interests of millions of people on both sides of the channel. We must keep in mind that in order to succeed, we need today discretion, moderation, mutual respect, and a maximum of goodwill. 